back to the Measures of Success Video Practice Buddy Series. I'm Dr. Deb. We do more articulation work in this video as we focus on tenuto and staccato. Exercises using tenuto and staccato begin with line 5.25 in Opus 5 of Measures of Success, Book 1. When a note has a tenuto mark, it should be played with full value. You might want to think about it like you were getting paid for doing some work, like a chore around the house perhaps, or a job. If you were supposed to get $10, but you only got $9.95, that wouldn't be very fair, would it? You got short-changed. Short you really were supposed to get $10, but you didn't get quite enough. It's, a, it's just like that with the tenuto mark. The tenuto mark needs to have all of the change. It needs to have full value, so play it with full value. Staccato, on the other hand, has a different sound. For notes that have a staccato mark, you want to play them lightly with separation between the notes. Jordan's going to play a C for you several times. The first four times, he's going to play using tenuto articulation. The next four times, he's going to play using staccato. See if you can hear the difference. <laughs> nice demonstration. That was great. Let's do it one more time. Again, you're listening for the difference between staccato and tenuto. Practice staccato and tenuto at home to make your music making much more expressive. We hope that you've enjoyed the Measures of Success video practice buddy series for the clarinet. Be sure to check out the Measures of Success video practice buddy series for conducting. It's really fun. Now, on behalf of everyone here at FGH Music and Jordan, I'm Dr. Deb. Thanks for joining us.